what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to do another experiment using our fenders and some spray cans uh, this one was a suggestion left by one of my viewers left a comment asking if I could help them you know create some ideas for suicide awareness month so happy to do so so today check this out I have two colors right here that we're gonna to use today this is going to be a two for one we're gonna actually do two fenders uh, testing out these colors so the first one is this one. This is the satin seaside color and It's the closest to teal that we could get. I actually left a, a poll in the community post uh, Asking you guys which one looks uh, closer. It was either seaside or Lagoon, but uh, There was a lot more votes on the seaside. So we're gonna try that one and for the pearl We're gonna add royal purple pearl. So this is brilliant um, and for fender number two we're going to try grape rustoleum grape and for the pearl we're going to try check this out sea wave so it kind of looks blue in camera but it is kind of like it has a teal color to it um, but we're going to try this one over the purple and then royal purple over the sea seaside so those are going to be the colors uh, for now. I already have the fenders. I have both of them back to back, but I'm going to separate them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and begin by spraying.
Well. All right, I have no idea why this one looks more blue on camera. It's definitely teal though. In my eyes, I see a different color than what the camera's recording. Uh, right there, it looks blue, sky blue, give or take. But... Yeah. What color is my shirt? So I had made a community post asking you guys which of the two uh, spray cans looked more like teal. The one on the left, the seaside, or the one on the right over here, the lagoon. And although the community post had over 200 votes, and with the majority, like over 64%, uh, saying the seaside looks more like teal, there was less than nine comments that they all said, you know, the lagoon. Uh, so here's the fender. I already sprayed it with the seaside. Yeah, the, the camera is, is, is picking up like a different color. We all know a shop towel. This is blue. Um, I don't know. But anyways, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just spray half of the fender uh, with the other color. And that's just the best solution to, you know, our problem right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, spray half of it with the other color. And we'll still use the same purple pearl, the royal purple and uh, see what comes out. Okay, so here I'm going to mix the clear coat. This is the Besney, uh, so it has a 4 to 1 ratio. So some people are confused why I use milliliters instead of ounces. Uh, right here I'm adding 120 milliliters of clear coat, which makes 30, uh, 30 milliliters per part. So 30, 60, 90, 120 milliliters of clear coat, which that equals to four ounces of uh, just in ounces. Now I'm going to get the activator and I'm going to use one part, which is 30 milliliters or one ounce. And now I'm just going to mix this up. Here I'm adding the pearl, which is the sea wave. And one of these is a teaspoon. And this should be good for the five ounces total of clear coat. After this, I'm simply gonna add just a little bit of reducer and I'm simply adding the specialty reducer from O'Reilly's for in case anyone is asking. Uh, just mix this up and uh, we'll just add it through the filter uh, into the spray gun. Okay guys, so this is my spray gun. This is the Spectrum HTE with the 1.3 tip. I have the 3M airflow air control valve and I normally set it to about 25 PSI with two and a half turns of fluid. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just close it all the way and turn it up two and a half turns. One, two, and a half.
I don't think this is enough for a third coat, so I'm gonna spray this as a control coat. Oh man, look at that bug. Ah oh, man, ruined. Now to prepare the clear coat for the second fender, I am doing the same thing as I did with the first one. Each part, 30 milliliters or one ounce. So here I am adding 120 milliliters, which is four parts or four ounces. Then I'm adding 30 milliliters of activator or one ounce, making a total of five ounces of clear coat. And now I'm just going to get a mixing stick and mix up the formula. So making a total of 150 milliliters and the reason I'm using milliliters instead of ounces is just for a more precise measuring. Uh, there's a lot of numbers between 1 to 2 ounces. Every 1 ounce makes 28 milliliters. So imagine that. So right here I am getting the pearl ready. This is the royal purple pearl and again just one teaspoon uh, for these five ounces of clear coat just go ahead and mix that and add it to the spray gun through the filter and we're ready to spray
Enough for a control cup. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the results on the two fenders. Bacon! And uh, you'd be surprised. There is an immediate winner and there's something to learn about. So let's go ahead and look at them. Alright, so we'll go ahead and begin with the Seaside and Lagoon uh, fender. This one has the Royal Purple Pearl. So let me see if I could just uh, zoom in a little bit. And see if you guys can see the pearl. I'm kind of blinded by the sunlight, but um, there's the color. And I'll go ahead and uh, get you guys a night shot as well. Uh, usually the camera picks up the reflection or, or whatever instead of the color. But there's that. That was a. Um, you know, I guess the spray in between or something. But uh, here's over the seaside. It's a little bit uh, lighter background. Um, but, of course, you can see the some of the glitter just sparkling or the pearl just sparkling back at you. Um, but there it is. Not bad. You know, not the greatest, but not bad. If I'd had to choose between these two, this one uh, shows more of you know the pearl the difference and um so yeah um there's a comment that i left on one of my previous video videos these late uh videos that i've made um and i replied to a comment saying that the darker background like will always show the pearl more the more coats of pearl that you add you know you'll see more of the color while on a lighter background, um, the more quotes that you add, the dirtier it will get. Uh, like, for instance, a white. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a white background with pearls. And I'm going to do the video. And not to prove, but just to experiment, of course. This is always to experiment. Uh, so let's look at the other fender. So this is it. This right here is the purple fender with the teal pearl. So very, very beautiful color. This, I don't even have to get close to show you guys the color. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure you can see it. So the purple is not really, really dark as this one over here, but it's just, it was just a darker purple and um, you know, with the teal, which is a lighter color, you know, it kind of wants to show. So this, to me, this is the obvious winner right here. Purple with teal pearl. So you guys leave me a comment and let me know your opinions. Um, out of these two, which one do you guys like the most? Check it out. And I'll go ahead and wait till night and I'll get the flashlight and shine over it so you guys can see it. Alright guys, so I got my flashlight.
Got this from uh, my buddy Erwin, three wheels in a block. Uh, it's nicely charged, so it's nice and bright. So let's go ahead and check out these uh, fenders. So again, this right here is a Seaside and Lagoon, and the clear coat has purple, royal purple, pearl. So let's go ahead and check with the light. All right. So uh, this one, not bad. Uh, you can barely tell it has some purple on this color. Barely tell. And then over here in this color, I don't think it is noticeable at all. Oops. I mean, it is in there. Like, there is a little bit of a, that pearl or metallic effect in there, but it's very hard to see. And I added just as much pearl, like the purple pearl, as I did with the teal. Um, but over here, this is teal. I mean, the base color is grape, the Rust-Oleum grape. And over it is the sea wave. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, you can immediately tell on this one. So look at that. Very nice. So here's the purple, just a normal lighting, or natural lighting. And then once uh, some of the light hits it, let's just say under the gas station or so, this is what you would see. So this one is very nice. Purple base with teal or super, uh, sea wave pearl, which is teal. Um, but overall, my opinion, this is the winner right here. These two, you know, the base colors are very, very nice. You know, even just with the gloss themselves, they look very nice. You know, and the purple, you know, also very nice. It looks like a color shift. It looks like a color shift. So, speaking of color shift, something uh, coming soon. Color shift pearls, flakes, neons, glow in the darks, a little bit of everything, even ghost pearls coming up. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. So before I close today, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, I just wanted to speak real quickly on, uh, you know, the suicide prevention or suicide awareness. Uh, you don't have to wait for that month. I think it's like September or something like that. You don't have to wait to reach out to, you know, one of your old friends, you know, like you haven't heard of or seen of in a while. Uh, you know, it's just reach out to someone, you know, it, I'm not saying you had to go interrogate or investigate someone whether they're going through some challenging times or not i'm just simply saying your presence could change someone's life um you know like i myself i went through some you know dark and challenging times i've made my share of mistakes and still to this day i still try to find ways to make amends with my situations uh but you know just keep in mind that you know tomorrow is a brighter day and uh, you are loved. There's someone out there that loves you and cares for you. So just reach out to someone, you know. Um, you know, with that being said, like, as my buddy James likes to say, you know, stay blessed. Jesus loves you. That's all I got for today, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Shoo.